Welcome to the God is Good talk show uh, with the Mighty Lions, featuring our very own Grace Arlene Griffin and Lazarus, little Lazzy boy. Griffin. I'm Khalil. I'm Khalil from Baby's Kids. Okay, what's up with y'all? How y'all doing today? Good. You guys good? Yeah. Yep. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, um, the purpose of this talk show is just for us to get the heart of the little ones. Mm -hmm. We're hearing from a lot of different hey, people. Hey, little ones. Hey, okay, well, you're relatively little, but you're pretty. You're getting pretty tall. I'm getting so, big. So, our purpose of having this talk is because we want to hear from you guys. We want to yeah. hear your thoughts on what's going on. We want to hear what's in your mind, what's in your heart. You know, what are the things that are in your spirit? We hear from other people. We hear from the news. Mm -hmm. We hear from everyone else. We want to hear from you guys. Yeah. So, why don't you just go say, wave to our audience. Hi. Hi, audience. It's lit. Okay, so, you guys ready for the first question? Yeah. Sure. So, I want to know. I want to know, how do you guys feel about quarantine? Horrible. Okay. Horrible? <laughs> Go ahead, Laz. We'll start with you. Horrible? Yes. What? Because, like, I can't see my friends or my family. You can't see your friends and family? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... I understand. That's, that's, that's the tough time. That's the challenging thing about this. But you do have other creative ways for you to talk to your family. True. Like maybe you could FaceTime and different things. Or call. Or go to the October window. But but that's that's just that's just not the same as hanging out with your friends and like, stuff on the playground and being like able to them a hug. Right, right, right. So I get that. I get that. What about you, Grace? Um, so it's okay, but it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I don't like quarantine because I miss my friends and my family from my dad's side. But I do like it because well, obviously you don't have to go to school and get all your and then get yelled at because your friends doing something in school that you're not supposed to be doing and they know it. Right. And like <laughs> Well, I mean, you even though you guys aren't going to school, yeah. You still have, you have plenty of work school. for you to do each and every day. How did you guys sit up last? How did you guys feel about the homework? Okay, it wasn't that bad. Cuz the first two weeks, it was like hard. But then the second week, they were so missed a little bit of them. And yeah. And I'm not sure what's happening this week, but it looks like I have a lot of schoolwork. So. Right. Do you like schoolwork? Sort of. What, what's your favorite class in school? Math. What about you, son? Um, math. <laughs> Honestly, what, what class you like in school? Math. Okay, good. That's how I know you guys are my children. Because that was only, like, one of the only classes Daddy liked. So, what do you guys think about this whole pandemic? Pandemic means when a sickness basically sweeps across the world. So, we're in a, pan we're in a quote unquote, the government and the official says that we're in a pandemic. So I want to ask you guys, how did? What do you feel about COVID nineteen? <sighs> what do you guys think? But Laz, you went first last time, so let's let Grace share first. Go ahead, Grace. Okay, I don't really feel very comfortable being around certain people because, like, it makes me feel kind of like nervous. And like other people, like now we can't see everybody, and COVID nineteen just makes me like upset. What, 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 why are you nervous? What makes you nervous? Because, like, if I was around somebody around this time of COVID-19, I mean, like, earlier when it just started, it was okay to be around people. Because, like, not that many people had it, but now it's getting worse and worse. And now some people in New Jersey have it, and you don't know who has it or who doesn't have it. So it makes you nervous? Yeah. Well, you know. That's why we're inside. True. Okay. I understand that. I appreciate you sharing that. What about you, Laz? Um, Put your hat on, bitch. <laughs> I, I feel sad about COVID-19. COVID Why? Because I couldn't see my family and my friends. And I couldn't, like, go 
to regular school and um at the end of the day of school I can see my parents and have free time with my parents and stuff and that's it. And also COVID nineteen is sad because other people get Sit back. <laughs> Go ahead. Get it. And that's sad for other people because that's like a chance of them not being able to make it. Right. And that's that's one thing I want you guys to think about. You know, put your hat on, son. <laughs> one one thing that I want you guys to think about. I know you guys are being affected in the way that you guys are being affected, but sometimes you have to think that. What about people that are getting sick? People are in the hospital. They're scared. You know, they don't. Their family can't come and visit them. And you know, sometimes we don't think about that. We think about what we're going through, but we don't think about what other people are going through. Right, son? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Grace. Before I started watching this channel and the wife of the channel, she is having a baby during coronavirus. And it's just like sad because she might have to go to the hospital for it. Right. right. Now, can you imagine someone getting coronavirus and nineteen COVID-19? and they're pregnant, they have to go to the hospital, that's a lot to deal with. That's very real. Right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some people, they, they can't go to work, so they can't provide for their families, and they, it may be, they may not be able to pay the bills. Right? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that, that people are going through stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Right? You guys say a prayer for those guys, or what do you guys do? Well, we pray at night time when it's not like a bad time and stuff for some of the, for a lot of the bad stuff to go away and that people won't have it. Won't have it. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> I have to get my hat. Go ahead, grab it, son. Just, Just sit it. tight. We're doing an interview, dude. Wait, this is still an interview? Yeah, you're doing the most. Okay, it's literally still an interview. Sit and chill, because now i got to edit this part, because you're doing the most. Just chill out, man. So, I got some other questions. Now, the scripture, Gracie, you said that you were nervous. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1 that God has not and given us the spirit of fear. But what? Uh, but of power, love, and what of? A sound mind. So and so, how are you guys dealing with that? Because it it seems that there are things to be afraid of in this time, but um, you know God doesn't want us to be afraid. So how do you face your fears? Um, guys, you can go first this time. Um, first. because this is how you you face your fears. You become a, a great warrior. Okay, go ahead, Grace. Um, wait, the question was how do you face your fears? Right. Okay, so how how I would face my fears is by just like trying to stay calm around them and then like like grow growing getting over my fears as I start to not notice them and then I'm not really scared of them a lot anymore. That's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, um, I would encourage you guys to um, allow yourself to, in the midst of fears, allow God to show you that there's nothing to be afraid of. And how does God show us that? He shows us in the midst of it. That if it doesn't harm us, if it doesn't touch us, if it doesn't kill us, that we don't have to be afraid of it because whatever we face, he'll get us out of it. And through that, through those experiences, we gain courage, right? Mm -hmm. Like last you said, be a warrior. Okay, so I want you to think of this. So in light of everything going on, what do you think 
God wants from us? Go ahead, Lad. Just start with you. Um, he wants to make us happy. How? Do you know? Uh, being a great warrior. Okay. Good. All right. So you on your warrior theme today. <laughs> what about you, Grace? So God wants us to just try to try to like stay strong, like be helpful to other people. And like try to just like. In what ways do you think that we can be helpful to other people? By just like trying to stay away from other people, so then they don't get COVID nineteen or anything like that. Okay. Thank you. Any other things that great lads? What about you? What ways can we be helpful to other people at in um, this time? Stay six feet away from. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Stay away from them from the COVID nineteen. If somebody falls, um, help them get up and pretty much that's it. Okay, that's good. Sounds like you, you want to be very <laughs> helpful, so <laughs> social distancing. That's right. Okay, so let me ask you this. Now you've been locked in the house. Yep. How are you guys dealing with something called boredom? Are you guys bored? What do you guys been doing every day? Go ahead, Grace. Well, for me, I have been on my electronics lately, and I haven't been doing much because, like, well, it's spring break and no schoolwork until Monday, so, yeah, well, I have just been watching TV and, like, chilling out. It looks like you've been doing a little bit more. Your hair is a different color. What about that? Oh, we got... You can say that I got so bored of COVID-19 that I said I wanted to get highlights in my hair. And then mommy, the next day, mommy said, suddenly had pink hairspray. Hey. Laz, <laughs> what about you, son? Pink. How you dealing with boredom, dude? Um, I'm so bored. Um, I got to make a mess of the house. What kind of games you been playing? Um, uh, rock and roller coaster. Yeah. Okay, what other games you been playing? You been playing on your tablet? Pictionary. Pictionary. No. What games you been playing, son? On my phone. Okay, what's the game called? I don't, I don't know. You should look on my phone for it. Okay, well, what about you been playing uh, Minecraft? You've yes. been playing Fortnite? Fortnite. All right, so you can list some of those games. We've been playing with our toys. Okay. Now, videos. let's say this. Let me ask you guys this. Have you been listening to your parents? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> And your parents telling you don't stay up all night, but what time do you go to bed? Five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> My God. So, let me ask you this, guys, and then we're closing out. What good do you draw from this time? Is there anything good, that you, <gasps> any good lessons that you guys are learning from this quarantine time? Go ahead, lads, you go first, huh? Um, to never have quarantine again. Okay, good. I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> Maybe if you get in some prayer, son. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Grace. Mm, okay, the good that I have learned to do is never do an interview live with your parents, and then they will ask you, <laughs> have you been listening to your parents? <laughs> yeah, I'll put you on the spot. <laughs> is there any, any, any other good things that you're learning out of this situation? Like maybe maybe what you're starting to realize what's more important. Yes, you can play on your tablet. Yes, you can play with your friends. But now you have more time to spend with your family. True. You have more Not time. Not all to, of your family. Right. But your immediate your regular your immediate family. We call your immediate family like your mother, your dad, your, your brothers brother. and sisters, right? Yes. So now you got more time to spend with your family. Um, so we start. We can start to appreciate each other more. What, what about you, Laz? Uh, cause um, I get to have a vacation from school and hang with my family more. 
Okay, cool. Tell me one thing that you've done with as a family during this time that you really was happy about. Go ahead, Grace. Um, we have all. Okay, we do this often. We do this often with our family. So like, this isn't like a one-time thing, but we watch movies a lot right. together. And then we eat snacks. <laughs> what, was a, what was a good movie that we watched together? That Can you remember one? Mm. Okay, I lied. Not all of our family. Because <laughs> mommy's usually asleep when we watch oh, them. Oh, my God. You know, threw your mom <laughs> under the bus. Sorry, mom. <laughs> you know, mom works third shift, so she gets tired sometimes. Yeah. And she has to sleep. Well, she she has stayed to sleep. up. Remember, we watched Sonic. Yeah. Yeah, we did watch Sonic. Did you guys like Sonic? Yes. Sonic was good. You fell asleep. And mommy, and mommy I, I tried stayed to up. Stay I watched Sonic, Monday, right? Monday. <laughs> All right, last. What, what about you, son? Just read this card. Okay. Uno. Uno. You like playing Uno with the family? Uno. You? How many games you won, son? Like fifteen. I won like. You've been doing your thing. Ten. Okay, so let me ask you this, guys. <laughs> so now, after this whole experience. What are you hoping to be different in the world? What do you oh, want to be different? Me. Go ahead, last first. Um, <laughs> last first was like 10,000 cards. Uh, me. I want to be, I want the world to change. The coronavirus will be reduced in the name of Jesus. I hope. Yo, yo. <laughs> Interviewer. 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 Let me just sing a song for you guys while the interviewer is on the phone. Robert All right, Robert. so you're the one. In, in closing, <laughs> I had a great time talking with you guys. You guys oh, seem like a ball mine. of energy. I didn't even say mine. Say so your what? The thing that you asked the question that you want to change. What do you, okay, what do you want to change? Um, I want to change that not everybody will go outside always that they will always want to go outside because outside there's bees and I don't like bees because bees sting me. <laughs> you you never got stung by <laughs> yes, a bee? Yes, yes I have. I got half stung by a bee before. Yeah, okay. Half when she stung. was two years old. Okay. All right. So I, I like that. Sounds good. <laughs> what I'm hoping to change is that that hopefully instead of us being so busy with school and work and all these other things that we'll, we'll appreciate family more and we'll appreciate our loved ones because tomorrow's not promised. We never know when an event can happen and you can lose a loved one. Someone, Some people are losing their family members because and so often we take family members for granted. We assume that we're always going to have time to spend with them. So that's one thing that I'm hoping changes in the world. All right, so there you have it, folks. All right, go ahead. Give us a hand clap. Come on, clap it out. There you have it, folks. Give it up for the Griffin. Our God is Good talk show with the Mighty Lion starring Grace Arlene hey, and Lazarus. <laughs> Lazzy Smurf Griffin. God bless you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed our program. Yeah.